Hello, and welcome to the SolidCAM Professor video series called Jumpstart, the easy way to learn SolidCAM. My name's John, and in this series of Jumpstart videos, we'll perform the CAM programming of a simple cover using some of SolidCAM's 2.5D milling technologies. Now, before we can program with SolidCAM, we first have to create a new milling CAM project and then define the CAM part. These steps will be covered in two parts or two videos. So let's get started with first creating a new milling CAM project. First things first, go ahead and launch SolidWorks. Then you'll need to open the SolidWorks part that's provided with this series of videos. The part file called Simple Cover can be opened directly from our interactive getting started guide. Otherwise, if you're viewing these videos from the SolidCAM website, you should have downloaded the part file and saved it to your computer. Once downloaded and saved, you can either open the part file from the SolidWorks main menu, or by first browsing to the file location in Windows Explorer, and then of course double-clicking it. Since we have SolidWorks already opened, go to the main menu and click File Open. From the Open dialog box, browse to the location where you have the saved part file and open it. If you're not using the interactive guide, this is how you'll want to open the provided part file. I'll wait a minute until you're ready. Okay, now that we're ready, let's make sure that we have our cam settings customized for these upcoming tutorial videos. Again, go to the SolidWorks main menu. This time click Solid Cam, Solid Cam Settings. Solid Cam will start and display the Solid Cam Settings dialog box. Here, you can change things like the path to related directories, units, tolerances, default machines, editors, and color settings. You can easily view and edit the current program preferences, options, and defaults. To start, click Automatic Cam Part Definition in the list. You'll see that there are four important sections here. Definition of CNC Controller, Definition of Coordsys, Definition of Stock, and Definition of Target. By default, these settings are usually enabled, and they can be especially helpful for trial users. Keeping them enabled automates the CAM part definition process, so one can start evaluating the software by immediately adding operations. For a new user, though, you should probably know how to manually define the CAM part before having SolidCAM automate the process for you. So, let's make sure the automatic CAM part definition settings are disabled, by deselecting the appropriate checkboxes. While in our CAM settings, click CAM part in the list. I want to talk to you about the two modes we have for saving a new CAM part. They are internal and external. External is typical for CAM parts saved prior to 2013. They use the .prt or compress.prz file extensions. This mode handles the saving of a CAM project by building and working in an assembly. A copy of the original SOLIDWORKS model is generated, and all the CAM data is created and stored outside the original .sld prt file. External is beneficial for CAM users without access to an engineering group's original SOLIDWORKS part. Although the CAM data is saved separately, it does remain associative to the referenced .sld prt file. Internal, on the other hand, tells SolidCAM to create the CAM part inside the original SolidWorks part, bringing SolidCAM's integration to a whole new level. All CAM data can be managed with a single .sld prt file. Now, if you build both the CAD and CAM, then it would make sense to use this internal mode. For the purpose of these tutorial videos, let's set the traditional method of external and keep the CAM data separate from our SolidWorks model. You'll see that this mode will be selected by default upon creating any new CAM parts. Now, we can click OK to close the SolidCAM Settings dialog box. OK. So, our CAM settings are customized, and here we have our CAD model opened, ready to go into SolidCAM for programming. But before we can apply the toolpath to machine this part, which we'll call our target model, we first have to create and define the CAM part. Now, to create the CAM part, go to the SolidWorks main menu and click SolidCAM, New, Milling. 
the new milling part dialog box appears and handles the saving of our CAM project. The first section shows us that we will create our CAM part using the external mode, which we just selected as the default in our solid CAM settings. In the next section, the first field displays the name of our CAM part. Solid CAM uses the SOLIDWORKS part name, Simple Cover, by default. The next field displays the directory location where the CAM part will be saved. By default, the Use Model File Directory option is selected and Solid CAM is informed to save the CAM part in the appropriate location. You can choose any location you'd like. I personally like to keep my CAM parts saved with their referenced CAD models. And finally, the third field is just showing us exactly what SOLIDWORKS model is being used for our CAM project and its directory location. The last section displays the measurement units to be used in the current CAM project. We'll be using metric. Note that I'll also provide the closest inch conversions. Just keep a lookout for them in the captions at the bottom of the screen when the time comes to define any values. Now when we click OK, the CAM part is created and the new milling part dialog box closes. And that concludes part one of this Solid Cam Jumpstart lesson where we've created a new milling cam project. Join me for part two where we'll define the cam part.